Brenda, hold on to something. Whoa. Alright, if you want this well to do it again, we all have to shout Hana Ho together, alright? One, two, three. Hana Ho! Oh my god, it worked. Thanks, Captain Paul, for uh, finding this breaching well right next to the bow. We really appreciate that. There's another one right here. There's two more right there and right there. This concludes our trip. We're heading back very shortly. So I got a great question. Why are these humpback whales breaching? All right, there's a couple different theories around why they could breach. Um, first of all, for communication. You guys are all hearing that huge sound. And sound actually travels much faster underwater than through the air. So there you can communicate with whales all around them really quickly by making these loud splashing noises on the surface. So definitely keep your eyes around to see if we see a response breach anywhere. Sometimes you'll see one whale breach here and then a couple seconds later, even, oh my gosh, again up at our one o'clock, uh, we'll see another whale breach somewhere in the vicinity trying to respond to this whale. Also, it could be to dislodge any parasites. They get a lot of barnacles and sea life that, um, could be on them and they're trying to get that off. Uh, here in the warmer waters, some of those barnacles start to loosen up, so it might be easy to try to slap them off of their bodies. If we see maybe a mother and a calf doing it, it's sometimes a learning lesson, which is kind of fun. That doesn't seem to be the case here right now. This just looks like a single whale, probably trying to communicate uh, with some other whales in the water around here. Um, but also the babies will do it a lot. Oh my gosh.
Turn it off, sir.